You guys ready for some hooktail action? Because we're here. And it's time. I'm trying to jump down, damn it. I wanted to save it. Okay, and we're back. Let's get into Hooktail's Fortress, shall we? Do I need to heal? I feel like I'm going to get a level up before it matters. I only need 14 more star points. I think we'll be okay. We just saved it, so if it's not okay, we'll find out the hard way. Um, before I go this way, what is there anything down here? Anything down here at all? Anything worth my while? Can't remember if there's anything down here before I go across up the top. Well, first of all, the intro to Hooktail Castle. Welcome in, y'all. We're here. <clears throat> Hope you're ready. Oh man, Hooktail Castle! The stories were all true. This place is terrifying. All right. So anyway, we need to get across this bridge, but we can't make the jump. We throw coops over there, but that doesn't help us, does it? Don't worry. We'll have a reason. We'll have a way. You probably can already figure out what the way is, but I wanted to see if there was anything down here before I go because I th thought there was. Is there? There is. Worth it. Oh, I forgot to pick up. Anyway, we got an HP plus five badge. Nice. You know what I forgot to pick up? I totally forgot to get something. Hold on. It just occurred to me that I forgot to get something when I had coops. I totally walked right by it. It's pretty much right after you get coops, too. Hold on. I'm going to get it now because otherwise I'll forget about it after I do a whole dungeon. <clears throat> it won't take long. It's just back here on... I want to say it's on the next screen over from here. I may just avoid enemies. I don't know. Maybe I'll fight the enemies just to get the level up that we're really close to getting already anyways. I just want to get the item first, though, if I can help it. Oh, it's just right here. It's just right here. This is it right here. I didn't grab this item. I totally forgot. That's my bad. Happy heart badge. Woo! Also, why'd you jump? No! Horrible idea. Horrible, sir. Very horrible. Why you do this to yourself? <clears throat> anyway, oops. Might have stomped on the spiky boy accidentally. If I kill all these Goombas on the screen, I probably will be close to the level, but it's probably still short by a few points. I don't know. I might fight him. We'll see. Easy, quick fights. What I did want to do, though, is go to my badges real quick. And uh, I got three points. We can either make my HP max go up by five, or... Uh, you know what? This is probably not a bad one to have on right now, since I don't have much else, else to put on anyways. Unless I'm going to put HP+. Plus. But HP+, plus, these badges are ones that I always ignore. Because if you use them, you're really only using them because you're low on HP in a particular situation. <clears throat> anyway, I'm putting Power Jump on to fill in the last slot for now until we get some more badges. But anyway, um, yeah. Point is, I don't really use HP plus ones. I really don't. Now, power and defense plus, those are a different story, because plus one power and plus one defense are invaluable. But, like, plus five HP, plus five FP, eh. It's good early, I guess, but, like, right now, I'm not too worried about it. <clears throat> if I need to level, or if I need some HP that bad, I'll just do it on my next level up. Which I haven't decided if that's what I'm going to do yet. I think I might go FP again, honestly. That way I can use all of my moves throughout the next dungeon willy-nilly without worrying about having to refill FP too often. <clears throat> you know, if we have a bunch of groups of enemies who need to be multi-bounced or something like that, we can just do it without worrying about FP. Look at that, I'm two star points shy of the level up. So close. Wait. Here, get those points, boy. Alright. Went back and got that happy heart badge. I'm glad I did, because the happy heart badge is nice. If you didn't catch that, it's basically a regen in battle. It's random. It doesn't happen every turn, but it'll happen, you know, whenever you need it. And with my low amount of HP, every once in a while getting one HP back for free is is a very good trade-off, <clears throat> I would say. Alright. Now let's do what we need to do to get up in this fortress proper, shall we? It's time to do a little bit of that. Airplane action, baby. Airplane action, baby. Action, baby. Action. Yeah. <clears throat> Going in. Hooktail, I come for you. Alright, I forget 
if you can do anything about these bone bone dudes. These bone dudes. So many bones. Bunch of booners. Oh god, we have paratroopers. Watch out for the paratroopers, y'all. <clears throat> they got wangs. Now here's the problem with that. I knocked him on his ass, but I think he might not be a paratrooper anymore. Yeah. That's the one kicker about knocking a paratrooper out the sky before you scan him. He's not a paratrooper anymore. Also, shit, I realize I don't have her in my party right now. Oh well, power shell anyways, fuck it. <clears throat> yeah. I need to swap in what's-her-face so I can tattle on the next fight with these guys so I can get good old, uh, you know. What am I trying to say? <clears throat> so I can get... Oh yeah, also, we can go all out right here. Power Shell twice in a row for wins! Hell yeah. Because we're going to get the level up anyways. Use up all the FP, who cares? This is why I want FP, so we use Power Shell whenever we want. The trumpets and the songs go hard. I need to pay attention more to the music and stop talking so much. But anyway, FP time. Let's go. Looking right nice. <clears throat> Alright. So. I see. Oh, cool. That's really easy to switch. I like that. Motherfucker! Ooh. Motherfucker. <clears throat> Didn't even give me a chance to react, man. It's fine. Give me the moment to tattle this fool and let him do the attack for once. It's fine. That's a Koopa Paratroopa. Well, um, it's basically a Koopa Trooper with wings. Max HP is 4, attacks 2, defense is 1. kind of hate that this guy gets to fly. Of course, you can stomp on him and he'll plunge down and be a playing Koopa Trooper. Yeah, do that and he's ours. Stomp again to flip him, and his arms and legs are useless. <clears throat> Oops, sorry, that's not true. It looks like he can still wiggle them around a bit. He's not like a, Ko a Goomba who doesn't have any arms. And the legs are already useless other than just to get them around. But anyway, let's power bounce this foe. Or not power bounce him, but double bounce this foe. I won't be able to kill him on this turn, but that's okay. I'm trying to decide if I should keep Goombella out for the remainder of this. Like, the beginning of this dungeon while we run into new enemies and stuff. Hey, it's RPG Fan. You never played this one? Always hear that it has higher highs and lower lows than OG Paper Mario. I don't know about the lower lows part. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm not sure what the lower lows would be, to be honest. But this game definitely has a lot more better things in general. But I mean, yeah, I'm not sure what the low lows would be in this game, to be honest. Compared to the original, anyway. Another badge? The Power Bounce. Wait. Uh, I already got one of those, don't I? Don't I already have the Power Bounce? Wait, 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 wait. I already got that. Don't I? Pretty sure I do. So I spent money on a badge I would have got for free anyways? Man, why'd I buy it? I feel stupid now. Also, don't let that guy do the sheepy, sweepy sheepy on you. This is actually a good place to just use Goombella in general because there's a lot of Koopas here. They both have shell oh, items, by the way. That's a, that's a courage shell. That's going to up his defense. Shit. Oh, yep, the defense on that guy. Well, I won't be able to hurt that guy, unfortunately. In which case, we'll just F up the middle guy. Usually the complaints are about Chapter 2 and some of the backtracking in 4 and 7. Interesting. People complain about Chapter 2? Really? The Boggly Wood stuff? Why, just because they don't like the tree? Like, what's the complaint about there? I'm trying to think of the backtracking in Chapter 7. I know which one in Chapter 4 you're talking about. The backtracking in Chapter 4 is always one of my least favorite parts of this game. I agree on that. 
chapter seven? I don't remember. People find chapter two the most tedious in the game? What? Really? That's crazy to me. I don't remember chapter two being that bad. Backtracking in 7 is definitely memorable. Yeah, I'll wait till we get to 7 to even think about 7. I'm just trying to remember what Chapter 7 even is in this game. Because I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to, like, talk spoilery too much, because obviously we're just talking about Bobby Woods, but that's Chapter 2, and it's we're just talking about the area. We're not talking about the things yet. I'm just trying to think of, like, Chapter 1 is this one. Chapter 2 is Bobby Woods. Chapter 3 is that one. Chapter 4 is... Chapter 4 is... Shoot, which one's Chapter 4? Oh, Chapter 4 is the one we already talked about. That's Chapter 4. Chapter 5 is the other one I was thinking. Chapter 6... Is Chapter 6 the train? Or is that Chapter 7? Chapter 6 is the train? Okay, then chapter seven is one I'm forgetting. <laughs> oh, oh no! These bones, they remind me of my father. There's no doubt about it, it's my father. Daddy, oh. Um, wait, what's this? My father's clutching some kind of letter, or at least it's his, uh, his bones are. Uh. Read the damn letter, bro. Read it. Um, okay, I can do this. I I'll read it. Uh. Um, I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I'm stuck and can go no further. So in this letter, I shall note Hooktail's weakness for those who follow. The dread Hooktail cannot tolerate croaking creatures that begin with F and end with frog. Wow. I heard that something related to Hooktail's weakness is hidden somewhere in this castle. If one is to have any hopes of defeating Hooktail, one must first find whatever that thing is. One last thing, if faced with the ultimate doom, the feet will surely use any trick to save herself. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue riding. Already mist fills my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you and I'm proud of you, who you've become. Huh? My son Colorado, not Coops? Yeah, Colorado from the first game, you know. Oops. Uh, yeah, well, I guess this is my father after all. But if it isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. Yeah, probably not. So, first of all, the F and the ROG is not the same. Not the same. In the, at least in the American version of this game originally... It said C and ends with Ricket or something like that. It was basically Cricket and not Frog. But the sound is similar, so I get it. I get it. Another change when you level up, all your party members get healed rather than only your active one. Oh, really? That's cool. I didn't know that. Also, you wish uh, you knew another long-ass word that fit the build and make a joke with, but alas... Uh, okay. Anyway, I already read the letter. No, thank you. <sighs> anyway, did you ever see the videos showcasing these games with all the dialogue put through Google Translate multiple times? Book of Mario, Thousands of Doors? No, no, I have not seen that, but it sounds hilarious. Alright, anyway, there's a key back there I can't get to, sad face. Move out of my way, boons, man. Blarf, harf, 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 harf. You clearly don't value your lives much if you go up to this castle to disturb us. You will go no further from now on. This moment on, you'll be nothing but boons. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ow, watch it, Pushy. What's with these numbskulls? They're shoving me around. What should I do? We do. Hammer time, baby. Hammer time, 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 hammer time. Get them. All right, so we do have to fight the red boon man. We do. Oh, God. It's, it's a whole crowd full of boons. Can't flee this fight. Oh, boy. This should be fun. All right. Immediately, I feel like I need to tackle these fools. Let's do that. 
tattle these fools. The red one's the one we really gotta kill, but the regular ones are there too. That's a dole bone, sort of a skeleton thing. It was a Koopa Troopa once. Max HP is one, attacks two, defense is one. These creeps throw bones to attack. Oh, and they build reinforcements too. Attacks that can strike multiple dole bones at once are most effective. I know exactly what to do with y'all, but I won't be able to do it on the first turn because I don't have boy out here. All right, I can't even hurt them. This is where Koops is amazing. Dude, she's gonna die. I regret putting her in front now. <laughs> My bad. All right, uh, put her in. The, uh, put put her back in the bag. Um, I need her to scan the red one before I do this. But uh, can I use this on her? Restore minor parts of P and P. Okay. Um, let's do this. How does this work? Repeatedly let the. Oh 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 shit! This. Forgot about this. Forgot about this. Forgot about this. No, don't hit the poison. Nice. Good whiff. Good whiff. Forgot how this works. Nice. Nice. That was really good, actually. <laughs> I forgot how that move worked, but I remember now. You guys got to see our, our sweet treat move, finally. Alright, that worked out quite nicely. Let's tattle this fool, and then next turn, the reckoning shall begin. That's a red bones. A little too red, I think. No fashion sense, you know. Max HP is 5, attacks 3, defense is 1. Unlike your average dull bones, even if you pound it to 0 HP and it crumbles, it totally might revive like a zombie. My advice is to get rid of all the dull bones and attack the red bones. Oh, and one more thing. Once its friends start to fall, it may create some more. That's fine. That's why we got Power Shell on the, on, uh, waiting in the wings, homie. Damn it. I wasn't ready to dodge that. My bad. Nice. That's nice. Stop that hurting Mario! Right, well, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to use this first part of the turn to switch in my boy Koopy Poopies. But Koopy Poopies is about to do a little work, so hold on to your shell hats, boys. Night night, bitches. So let's see what he does now that all his friends are gone. Nice! We got lucky. Close call for the win. Anyway, in that weird Book of Mario Thousand is Door things, it results in characters saying a lot of convoluted things and commenting like, I came. Or, and also Koops' name was Carbon. It's an interesting alt name for him. Um, yeah, interesting indeed. Anyway, I'm about to pound you into oblivion. How does that feel, sir? Are you ready to get pounded into oblivion? I didn't think so. Why you drop? Oh my god, and it confused me? Or did that not confuse me? It looked like it confused me. Oh, shoot. What? No! I missed it? Oh, mother of pearls. How did I miss? Doe, I missed. Doe. Doe. I have to practice that timing. It's really not a hard thing. Just have to anticipate it better. Anyway, that should be a victory. Yay! I think the key to that fight is just making sure the red guy goes down. Once you've made all the other guys dead, keep them dead. Then finish the red guy off before they come back again. But alright, we are victorious. Awesome. Ooh! Oh god! Well, it's not going to help me with anything, but, you know. At least I didn't get hit. Oh yeah. We're about to clear the field here. Clear the field! Night night. We're gonna get a quick level up if we keep getting all these DM DM boons. DM boons, DM boons. Ooh, and we get our honey syrup. Nice. Key up! That's what I wanted is a hammer time. That's what daddy needed right there. See now I can win this without even needing to waste anything. And that's fantastical for me. That's what daddy like. Daddy likes it when he gets a victory. 
Daddy likes it when he takes a pee. 55 star points for your boy right now. Now we can get this box and get our first Shine Sprite. Wow! Yeah! Alright, so Shine Sprites, what are they used for? They're actually used to level up our homies. So we had Power Points, I think, in the first Paper Mario. This game's got Shine Sprites. Right out, of, right out of Mario Sunshine, which was pretty funny. A lot of Mario Sunshine references in this game, for sure, since, you know, Mario Sunshine had already come out at this point. Also, we cannot break those blocks. I don't know... I think we'll be able to before we leave this place, I think. Anyway, purple. Okay. And yellow. Yellow cannot move. Purple. And we're gonna make the purple do a thing. Don't worry. But first, let's take a ride on the purple thing. I'm hammering game cubes. Is that what they look like to you? Do those look like game cubes to you? Ooh, star piece, nice. Worth it. I don't think I can actually go anywhere from here. Just got a star piece though, that's cool. That's pretty neat. I don't think I can go any further into here at the moment. I need to get a key. Uh, do I need to go back for now? Wait. I didn't get any other key items already, did I? Right? No. Yeah, dude, they're cubes in the game. Duh. Oh, sorry. My bad. Wait. I don't have a key for this, right? No. He's over here. No! I didn't mean to do that. Uh... Use his ability if I'm in trouble. Yeah, I get that. I didn't mean to even do that, but yeah. That's fine. Um. So wait. Oh, I'm fucking dumb as shit. I'm a dumb ass shit. I'm a dumb ass shit. I needed that purple box. Hold on. I just pressed ZLZR because of, of DJ bringing it up. That's all. That's the only reason I did that. That's all I needed to do right there. Boom, bang, bam. Easy peasy. That's all a daddy needed right there. That's all daddy needed right there. Oh, you flipped the stairs on me, I see. Well, good, because now I can get the key, homie. The key to getting that key is Victor fucking Reed, baby. Got that red key! I think, if I play my jumps right, I can go up to wherever this yellow is going to take me and see what's up there, eh? Sounds like a plan. Whee! Ooh. I like Star Piece. Star Piece is cool. Uh... Nothing else up here but that Star Piece? I guess not. Wait, is there something down here if I jump? Let's see! Nope. Alright then. Well, we got the key so we can proceed now. That's all that matters. Alright. None of these guys are alive, huh? Alright. Well, I'll just take my save then and see what's over here before we worry about where that green block goes. That's a Goomba! A Paragoomba! I totally missed time to jump. Oh, cool. Just in time for these guys. Great. Alright, uh, let's do a little bit of this action then, huh? Multi fucking bounce, baby! And also attack normal for now. I don't have enough. I won't be able to kill these guys in one hit anyway, so it's fine. Can't exactly knock them all on their asses. Boop -a -boop -boop. Book of the Beppo. Gotta love that close call, baby. Right, I'm just gonna do it again so they're both on their ass. But I ain't gotta worry about that shit. If there was three of them, I would power shell it, but I only have three FP left. I wanna save it for a moment when it matters, or when I'm about to get a level up, whichever happens first. For now, though, we murder.
Flower points! Oh. <laughs> if I would've got flower points there, man, ooh, that would've been nice. Loving my happy heart luck right now. Who needs HP? 10 HP's plenty. It's only gonna really become a problem when I'm fighting like a boss or something that hits it big time damage. Or I can die in like two hits. Fire flower. That could probably actually wipe out a group of bones dudes. Bones dudes! Bones dudes! Bones dudes. Huh. In the interest of having... Eh. I was going to say, I can knock them both down, but whatever. It's fine. Feels like Goombella is less handicapped in this place. It's just these bone guys that I'm glad to have poops available for. Shit, Paragoomba still give me two star points. That's how I know I still am ready for some more levels. What this do? Ooh. Opens the cage much. Oh, 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 oh. Well, putting Goose back in. Hold on. Oh, 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 it's magic, you know, and I believe it's not so, it's magic, you know. Hey, look, it's one of these. Remember what happened last time we saw one of these? Should be fun. Oh, dang, bro. Oh, dang. I guess it's been a long time since anyone came here. A real long time. Huh? You heard me? Wow. Wait a sec. If you could hear my voice, you must be some legendary hero or some... Or not. To be honest, I'm sure anyone with ears can hear me. But it is sure fun zinging people with that whole legendary hero bit, you know what I'm saying? But hey, seriously folks, I was wondering if you could let me out of this chest. I've been locked in here so long, I'm starting to cramp up like you wouldn't believe. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy peasy. Huh? What do you mean? You think you'll be cursed if you open a box? That's ridiculous. Who would do that, really? Wait in a box and curse folks. Real slime ball, that's who. But I'm not a real slime ball and I would not do I would do no such thing. But that should be obvious. Look, if you help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, a little I scratch your back, you scratch mine, except in reverse order. Of course, you don't have to if you really don't wanna. Finding a key a, a key like this is hard. Alright, well. I guess we'll go try to find the key and totally not get cursed by whatever's in that box. Because he totally said he wouldn't curse me. Right, this room, okay. It's a, it's a sussy room. Also note, there is a splodable wall here. Just remember that that's there for later. We'll be back when we can splody walls. Hey, we got the key! Super easy! But guess what? You gotta go through the spikes. Um, Mario, look at that! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Gotta move quick, homie! Oh, I don't like the look of this! Come on, run! Run like hell, dog! Okay, luckily you can't actually... Oh, what the fuck? Uh, oh shit, I'm stupid. I'm dumb as shit. I'm dumb as shit, bro. I'm dumb as shit, bro. Oh fuck, what the fuck? I just really did a circle. I really just did a circle. I really just did a circle. Cause I'm a fucking idiot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm out of F this up. Oh my god. I got 20 seconds. Oh my god. I'm gonna make it, but Jesus Christ. Talk about cutting it close. Jesus. That was terrifying. Well, hey, we got the key, so that's cool, right? Hey there, man. Boy, am I so glad you found that key. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Fools! Wow. I'm so surprised. Look at the surprise on my face. So surprised. Why, only the most idiotic pudding brain don't would fall for a scheme like that. 
The castle's traps prevent anyone who's injured this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this great deal. I'll throw in a free curse. No charge. Oogly googly boo! <laughs> now you're cursed, doofus, <laughs> and it serves you right. This curse is more cursedly curse-worthy than any curse that's ever cursed you. For this curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold ZR. <laughs> what a curse! Who curses like me? <laughs> no one. Now I shall show you just how frightful a curse is. Press and hold ZR now! Man. Oh man, what am I gonna do with this curse? Oh no. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Just look at yourself. How embarrassing for you. You'll be all papery thin while you press CR. You'll try to jump or move and you'll probably just wobble there. Do you understand what this curse means for you? Absolutely. Then farewell, you dumbbells! Wee hee hee! Okay, man, man, what am I gonna do with this curse? It's so terrible. Alright, so basically now we can go paper thin this direction. We're always paper thin, but now we can go like this. You can actually jump, which, eh, the jumping part doesn't really matter as much. But we can use it to squeeze between skinny things if you can't already figure out what it's used for. Whoop, swoop between the bars, dog. See these bars? Swoop between the bars, dog, and we get it. Say hello to Attack Effects G Badge. Change the sound effects of Mario's attack to sound froggy. You don't say. Froggy, you say? We might have heard somebody who might be weak to the sound of frogs, just saying. So, oh wait, power bounce. I have power jump. Power bounce is different. I was complaining about buying power jump, but power bounce is different. Okay, I'm stupid. Never mind. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this on. We get to hear the froggy sound, at least for now. Oops, I did not mean to talk to you. Did not mean to talk to you. All right, anyway, cool. We got the a new ability. We got the attack effects badge. It's going to be what's helpful against Hooktail. It's going to be awesome. Before we go up here, though, there is one thing, if you recall. If you recall earlier in the adventure. You may recall back here, there may have been a thing where I could squeeze between the bars. And if you weren't paying attention, then you're gonna see it right now. There's some bars right there. And you can squeeze between them right- Ah, uh, fucking stop using ZL. Stop it. Stop it. I'm not taking the hints on purpose. I keep pressing the wrong trigger. Damn it. Anyway, we got the green castle key. We're gonna need that in a minute. That's the only reason I came back to get it first. Because there will be a key lock where we're gonna need that pretty soon. And I was like, I might as well just go and get that first, so I don't have to worry about seeing the dead end and then going back to it anyways, you know? Get ahead of the game, if you will. It's what I do, baby. It's what I do. Just make sure you're ahead of the game. Like Miss E said, one and the same. I'm gonna pop a save. Boop. And get on up this gish darn thing. We haven't gone up yet. Ding, dang, yep. Ding, dang, yep. Uh, yep. Going up, players. All right, so there's the green lock we needed the green key for. Perfect. Anything up here we can grab? Don't think I can grab that right now. No. It's a friend badge. It's a partner badge. I'm just not sure which one it is. Might be close call P? I don't know. I'm not sure. It's a partner one. That's all I know. Should we heal? Um. I mean, I need the FP. I still need quite a bit of. Quite a bit of uh, star points. Like enough to. But we might as well level up. Or might as well heal up, rather. Because we're going to have to fight at least a few battles to get enough star points for sure. Anyway, one swish. Two swish. Red fish. Blue swish. Alright, so this is a little stumper right here. Make sure you realize you can jump out the window because most people probably wouldn't notice that. Is it memorable because you didn't remember you can jump out the window, DJ? Or you didn't know you could jump out the window, I should say? 
because I can understand that stumping somebody. Pretty sure I didn't notice that the first time I did it either. Oh, whatever. As long as he didn't get this first strike, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He walked around a bit before he figured that out. Yeah, it's it's a pretty pretty easy to like easy noob trap to not notice that you can jump out that window. It's very not obvious. I think if you ask Goombella, she'll probably give you the hint though. I don't know. I didn't try to see what she would say. Cause I knew what to do. Cause I played this before. Yeah, like, I played the fuck out of this game when I first played it, man. Like, I, this is one of those ones I actually took the time to, like, 100% do all the things. That includes getting all the recipes and shit. I was fucking dedicated. I was a dedicated boy on my GameCube, man. I used to do all the things. Like, I still remember playing Tales of Symphonia enough to do all the... Like, to unlock all the titles. And, that, and we're talking, you know, a time period when... There's no achievements for that. You're just doing it for the sake of just saying you did, you know? Just to say you got all the titles in Tales of Symphonia. And honestly, I probably still have that save file somewhere. Maybe. I would hope so. I'd put a lot of work into it, but if I don't, whatever. Point is... It's a thing. Not sure why I attacked him first. Maybe because he's more capable of doing damage. More damage. Because this guy's only going to hit me for one if he even hits me at all. If I let him. Ooh. Wow. He... That was interesting. He didn't hit Mario, but he hit Koops, and I blocked it. I don't even know what to say about that, actually. But any hoozle. Victory's about to be mine! Booyah! Yeah, we need to get some more dry boons if we want to get a level up. Speaking of which, there's one right there. Um, is it gonna fight me? No. Oh, yes, it is! Of course he fucking woke up as I gave up, thinking he wasn't going to. What a dick. Should be easy win, though. Koops can handle the spiky boy, so... We're good. Whee! Dry Boons only give me two? I thought they were giving me three. Huh. Weird. Give me that coinage dog. And he probably saw there was a, a shroom. Ah! Stop it. You probably saw that when I uh, was going up. I definitely want to not leave a life shroom behind. Life shrooms are very useful. Especially if you get hit a lot. Alright. Anywho. Good schnitz. Good schnitz. Alright, we don't have the key for the right door yet. We'll have to go find it. Off to the left somewhere. Oh, this room. Okay, I know what's about to happen. Hello, hello. Huh? Oh my. Who's this handsome piece of cheese? I can't believe there are other thieves here besides me. How very strange. Hey, who are you? Me? Oh, why, well, I'm Miss Mouse, the globe-trotting thief. Heard of me, sweetie? I heard there were rare and valuable badges here in this castle. That's why I'm here. But the real question is, why are people like you roaming in such a rundown place? Uh, well, you see, we're here to beat Hooktail and get the uh, Crystal Star. So, uh, don't think we'll let you get the Crystal Star first, no matter how cute you are. Crystal Star, you say? Mm-hmm. I didn't know a thing like that was hidden in this castle. Sounds intriguing. Perhaps I just heard something you didn't want me hearing. Mm-mm-hmm. Darn. Oh, but that's okay. I mean, you were just looking looking for this crystal star first. And I already found the badge I was after, so I'll just let you get your crystal star. Okay, so that's why the empty chest, she took a badge. I wonder what badge it was. Oh, hey! What's that supposed to be? <laughs> it means I'm a say goodbye bye for now, Mr. Cutie. I know, it's sad. We just met, and already it's time to say farewell, alas. Oh my, you're so bold! Is that legal? Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little secret to share with you. Somewhere in this castle's a badge that'll help your best hooktail, or so I heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe you found it already. Maybe not. If you're gonna fight hooktail, 
I'd recommend finding that badge first. Well, take care, handsome mustache man. Let's get together again real soon. Oh, don't worry. I already got it. I wonder what her story is. I bet it's an interesting one. Full of romance. Full of it. Anyway, nice treasure room, dog. Give me things. Hey, free shroom. Oh, I'm out of space? Oops. Uh... Hold on. Let me do... Wow, I don't need to heal at all. Well, shit. Am I going to throw the in-coupon away then? Am I throwing away a dry shroom that only heals one? Might just throw away that fucking dry shroom. Dry shrooms aren't worth shit. And you can use them for things, but they ain't worth shit. There's the key. I'm a little afraid to open up the other treasure chest, because it's probably going to give me another item I can't hold, damn it. Anyway, so apparently the weakness was always frogs in the Japanese version, but it was specifically a Japanese tree frog, which Americans wouldn't recognize, so they changed it to cricket in the localization. For this version, they made the frog sound more standard frog-like instead, so they just went with frog specifically. I'm guessing because the Japanese tree frog or whatever sounds like a cricket, probably. But anyway, point is, cool, they made it back to a frog. That's dope. I haven't even heard, I haven't even been paying attention to the sound. That does sound like a frog. I wasn't really listening to it. I should have been. I've been having it since I put it on a little bit ago. But alright, um... What was I gonna do? I was gonna figure out what I was gonna do with items, because I, I need an item spot. Um... I don't need anything, though. That's the problem. Well, what is it gonna be? Let's see. I definitely want to keep that over, like... <sighs> you know what? Fuck the end coupon. The inn coupon does nothing for me other than let me stay at the inn for free, and I really don't care. I'm gonna have enough money to stay at every inn forever. I don't even- I'm not even worried about it. So get the fuck out of here. I don't need you. I don't need you. But I do gotta make sure I start using a couple items in some battles coming up here. Maybe I could find a use for a fire flower. That'd be nice. Ooh, maybe against one of these guys. That would be cool. Fight four of them. Give me four! Give me four! Oh shit. Well, it didn't give me four, but what I could do, I mean, I also have Sleepy Sheep. That's not really worth it. I'll just do Fire Flyer. Fuck it. I'm actually not sure it's going to work on the Bone Dude or not. Is it going to work on him? It is. Okay. I wasn't actually 100% sure that was going to work on him. I think I can still do one damage to him if he's standing up, right? Yeah, good, 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 good. Smarter guy would have stomped that dude first and then did the Fireflower to kill them both, but oh well. Oh wow, and of course I use an item just to get another item. I'm actually okay with that. Yeah, good shit. No pow block for you, ho bag. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do exactly what I just said. I'm gonna knock this dude down. I could use my power shell, actually. Or... Go ahead and use the fire flower. Even though it feels totally unnecessary right now. Nah, it's nice because I can kill both of the turtle guys in one turn. It's fine. I mean, might as well. Like, I'm not going to use the fire flowers very often otherwise. Like, they're not going to be helpful against the boss. They already said the boss was immune to fire, right? He's, it's a fucking dragon, after all. Right, you better wake up, bitch. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. Funky, funky, funky. Coming through to smack you. We're actually going to get a level here pretty soon, so I don't mind using up some HP here. And that's just so PowerShell can make us victorious. The multi-bounce PowerShell is just the op of OP fucking combos. It's so good. And it's even more OP once you actually have some level ups and do more damage and stuff. Speaking of which, I got two Shine Sprites now. I didn't even talk about that. Um, the Shine Sprites, like I said already, they help you level up your homies. Although, I don't think one levels up a homie like Power Points do. I think you need like three Shine Sprites per level up or something like that. So even though we have two of them already, I think we still need one more to actually get a level. I think that's how it works in this game. 
unless it's exponential and it's like one shine spray for one level, two for another level, three for another. But I think it is just three per level up regardless. We'll find out eventually. But right now I'm not worried about it. Um, there's definitely a star piece over there that I want. Where else? What else is up here? Oh my god, stop pressing that one, damn it. I see what we need to do. There's a there's a paper plane spot here, which we're not going to use quite yet. I'd rather go get this star piece first. No star piece left behind, if I can help it. Alright, ready to go flying? Let's go. Ho wee, ho wiener whacker, wiener whacker, wiener whacker. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh Almost didn't make it, dude. Almost, sh almost short, short, short shot myself there. Heal spot if you need it. First of all, I want this. Second of all, I want this. Castle key blue, wee! But second and third of all, I want this. Hell yeah, last stand for partner. That can actually be pretty useful, I would say. Also, didn't realize there was going to be a pipe right there. That was nice. I don't really need the heal. I'm about to get a level up on the next fight I do. And I don't think we're quite at the end of this place. If we are, I might go back and fight one fight. Are we at the end end? There's another star sprite, a shine sprite, whatever here. That was one of the last badges you got in the game. Oh, dang, DJ. You mu you just missed it and never came back for it, I guess. I don't remember if this is the end or not. No, I think we have to go up, like, one more tower. Hold on. I don't think this is the end yet. I just want one more fight. Okay, cool. We are going to get one more fight. Cool, cool, cool. I got lucky on the timing there. I jumped way too early. Lucky... I'd multi-bounce, but that spiky boy ruins it. Okay, this is going to be an epic power shell. Let's go. Sorry, it doesn't even matter, boy boys. Doesn't even matter, boys. I'm just going to use all my FP because I don't give a shit. Level up's about to happen. Hell yeah. Ooh, but what are we leveling up? Do I go HP finally? Am I doing it? Or... Am I sticking to FP and BP? We do, we do have enough badges to make it worth the BP now. I might actually do that. Roll with BP. It's crazy, I know. But the early BP is so worth it. It's so worth it. How long can Funky go with only 10 HP? That's what we're going to learn. I mean, at this point, it's a little bit of a challenge run. Not really. I've only fucking got like four levels, right? Yeah, I'm level five. Okay, so I've gone four levels. All right. Um, I'm going to use those 3 BP on Power Bounce, actually. That's a really good move. Um, we used it quite a bit in the last game. Um, do I want to take off anything to put on this? I will take off power jump, because fuck that. Power bounce is better. I'll put this on. This is actually really nice for your partner to have. So they have a, you know, what is it again? Oh, they take less damage when they have 5 HP or less. So really helpful. So your partner doesn't die. Very nice. Nice. Kind of surprised I got that, but I'll take it. And... If I can bop the other dude onto the ground, we can power shell them all to death. It'll be great. It'll be awesome. It'll be fantastic. No, do power shell. I almost did power toss. Booyah! You actually got to the end of this game with only 20 HP. Damn. That's pretty good, DJ. For a first time playthrough, especially. Did you actually beat the game, or you ended up doing HP and stuff near the end? Or were you just using HP and FP plus badges? 
I was gonna say you probably use some HP badges at the end. Okay, gotcha. The final boss with 20 HP is gonna it would be fucking rough. Pretty sure you can get one shot quite a bit. But alright, we're climbing the tower, y'all. We're about to be done with this bitch. I know we're almost to the top here. To the top of the tower. Where we're gonna be too sweet to be sour. Hey, look, it's a dude with a thingy. Oh, I missed. Do oh, I missed. So, I'm gonna do this. You did have all the badge points, though. I mean, having all the badge points is pretty OP. Let's be real. Because, like, having that many badge points can basically mean you can put on whatever combination of badges you could ever want. For more power, more HP, more FP, more whatever. It's just, it's really good. I don't want to go too hard on the FP right now. So my plan is, I know I'm using some FP before the f boss fight here, which I don't think it's going to heal me again before I get to the boss, but it's okay to use some FP because I'm going to probably need Sweet Treat at least once in this boss fight, I'd imagine, and thus that will be how I refill my FP. That's what I'm kind of banking on right now. Banking on it. Give me all the coinage, baby. Oh, it is gonna give me another heal thing. Never mind. We are gonna get a full heal. I lied to your faces. I thought the last one we got was the was the one I should have used. I'm glad I didn't bother spending ten coins on it. All right. Never mind. We're gonna have full HP for the boss fight. NFP. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right. Ready for the end of this? Let's do. It. We're at the top, baby. We're at the top. Lock up. Lock up. Who dares approach me? I don't know what to do with this voice. <laughs> it's supposed to be a female, so, you know. Smaug it is not. But anyway. Paper dragon? Oh no. Hmm. I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? But you're so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. After gnawing on the bottoms of your feet, I'll saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down head first. Shit, I forgot to put what's-her-face out there. Damn it. Well, we got to waste a turn switching over to her for tattling. It's fine. My bad. Snack time, little appetizers. But which one of you more so shall I taste first? Can't flee this fight. No, sir. Can't flee that one. Not that I expected to. Alright, unfortunately we have to waste a turn swapping over to Goombella, because I stupid acidly did not start with her. No! Tattle, no head bonk, idiot. Tattle the hook tail. Tattle that bitch. Tattle that bitch. That's hook tail! Max HP is 20, attack is 5, and defense is 1. She'll stomp and munch on you, and she has a more dragonish attack. Stinky, fiery breath. She's tricky, especially when she's losing, and she'll try to fool you into being merciful. Oh yeah, and one more thing. She hates things that start with F and end with Rog. Supposedly there's something related to that somewhere in this castle. Did we find it? Don't you worry. We absolutely did. Ooh, we got a little crispy fight on the first turn. That's okay. We'll be fine. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Alright, so... I don't know, should we just power smash her ass right away? Power smash! Because it should hear the frog sound. Blech! That awful sound! It sounds like a frog! How did you know? Uh, I got really bad uh, food poisonings once I when I ate a frog. I hate them! Oh, fight it, Hooky! Just hearing the sound of them makes me feel woozy! Oh god! I didn't realize I was going to fall on my damn head right now. Damn it. Dag nabbit! Alright, uh, I'm gonna use this to go ahead and switch back to Koops. Koops is a better choice right now, I think. Oof. Good guard, good guard. Alright. We're gonna take this out of the opportunity to use a mushy, because we hurt him. 
I always end up having leftover healing items anyway, so I'm okay having low HP enough to just have to use that shit. But anyway, I'm pretty sure you want coops for the damage, because otherwise, Goombella ain't gonna hit this bitch for any damage. Damn. Her fire, her attack's actually weaker because of the, the cricket, or the frog thing. See, in my head it's still a cricket, even though it hasn't been. Um, we'll be okay for one more turn. Let's go ahead and just do... This isn't really a good power bounce boss. I'll just power smash her bitch ass. Yeah. Break those toenails. Oof. Must not gag. So very woozy. Piatch. Oh jeez. Okay. I think we'll use this turn to do sweet treat now. Just to be safe. Be safe. Be sorry. Be all the not deadness. Damn it! Of course I missed right away. Got the fucking stupid ass poison right away. I was dumb. Good thing is there was two poison shrooms like right away, so I don't have to worry about any more poison shrooms at all. That's nice. Because I think only two poison shrooms fall in that whole thing. So if you see them right away, you're good. Now we're good. Get her bitch ass. Boom, motherfucker. Yo, toenails gotta be hurting. Damn it. That's fine. It's fine. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. We're gonna take her out on this turn. It'll be fine. Bitch. Easy victory? Question mark? So you think. Wait, hold up a moment. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore, I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Uh, yeah. To prove it, I'll give you 10,000 coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? I'm pretty sure if you ever agree to any of these, it backfires and she just fucking attacks you. So don't... Remember, she tries to trick you. That's her other big thing. She's trying to trick you. Keep your f coins, fiend. What? You must be joking. You don't need any coins? Then how about the lovely rare extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind, and it's yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? <laughs> Keep it, you monster. Uh, really? Well, I suppose I could apologize by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. So, care to take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world-renowned feet? One-time offer. That's disgusting. One quick sniff. <laughs> You aren't a very trusting fellow, are you? It's important to be able to trust someone, you know. Uh, I guess I'd better... Here comes the... Here comes the twist! You're a monster! <laughs> I always thought that was hilarious. She literally eats the crowd. It's fucking hilarious. That's just not right! Oh, ha! Huh? Now my strength has returned to me! I've had enough of this! Let's finish this gal off fast, Mario! Alright, so she got half her HP back. I don't think she can do that again because all the crowd is gone now, but... Pretty hilarious that she does that in the first place. I always thought that was pretty funny. She's like, oh, you're gonna hit- you're gonna kill me? Well, then I'm gonna eat the crowd. Why do I always- why do I always feel so faint every time I hear a frog? Every time, baby. Every time. Oh, come on. Come on. Damn it. Never have any good luck with that, man. I'm gonna get a roulette eventually, goddammit. It's gonna happen. Wow, her attacks got weak, bro. Your attacks have been weak, bro. Anyway, who's ready to finish this bitch? You ready? Finish her. Oh! I. I. Ugh. How? Why? There's still so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals! You know you can actually time that last one? Time what last one? Like the fire? What do you mean? Time the last what? Anyway, I got 30 star points for winning. Kick ass. The slots. Oh, you can time the slots? Oh. 
But it goes so fast, how can you even... You have to get lucky, man, in my opinion. But anyway. Wow, we actually pulled it off, Mario! Now all we have to do is find that crystal star thing you're looking for, Mario! Ooh. Ooh. Oh. What the fuck? Oh shit. Yeah, I'm out. I'm finally out. Yeah. Whoa, it, it can't be. Eh? Huh? Dad? It's Daddy. Well, if it isn't Coop, say, hey, son, you gotten so big since I last, uh, since I saw you last. Well, yeah, Dad, I guess I have, but uh, who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? You, where you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and all was well and good. But just before my finishing blow, she used the smell from her feet to stun me and gobbled me down whole. I've been hiding in my shell for the ten years since then. Inside Hooktail's barely. Ten fucking years? Ten years? And boy, was it nasty. Yeah, I'm so glad to finally get out. <laughs> Honestly, Dad, everyone's been so worried about you this whole time. Oh, sorry, son, but I I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you all doing here, anyway? Ah, oh, come on, Dad. We came here to defeat Hooktail, and Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? <laughs> this Crystal Star right here? Well, what's that? I found it down there in Hooktail's belly. <laughs> nice, huh? I was gonna keep it as a souvenir. But if this is the thing you've been looking for, you can have it. Come now, I won't take no for an answer. You're Koops' friend, right? Please take it. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Guess what, guys? Crystal Star Kit, baby! We got our first one of the game! Let's go! Aw, oh, yeah. Your star power is increased by to, er, to two now, and we also learned the move Earth Tremor, which I absolutely love, and we'll see if I'm still good at it like I used to be. Each time you get a Crystal Star, you'll learn a new special move. All right. And just like that, guys, when you grab a crystal star, chapter clear. Oh yeah. Chapter one ending, baby. Fuck yeah. We did it. Using the magical map they received from Princess Peach, Mario and his friends claimed their first crystal star. With the deadly dragon hooktail defeated, the citizens of Petalburg would rest easy once again. Koops even reunited with his long-lost father, whom he thought was dead. And yet, despite victory in the castle, Princess Peach's whereabouts were still unknown. Where could she be? Yes, it seems Mario's adventure has only just begun. Right, we didn't even ask around about Peach. But, uh, you know, speaking of Peach, are you guys ready? Here he comes. 